I am in Darmstadt, in southwest Germany, in the state of Hesse, about 25 kilometers south of Frankfurt. It's one of the nicer German towns. It's got around 160,000 inhabitants. It's got four universities. It's got a castle, an old town hall from the early 17th century, a classicist theater. It's got all the things that each of the hundreds of small duchies and counties that made up Germany up to the 19th century wanted to have. And it's got this place, the Ludwigshöhe, with a nice view over the city. Sure, it's not Piazzale Michelangelo in Florence. But it does have a picnic shelter. Florence doesn't have that. Take this Tuscany, what do you say now? The town is popular with students and with all those who like to have it just a little bit more quiet and a little less expensive than in Frankfurt, 25 kilometers north. But one thing makes it a bit strange its name. You see, Darmstadt literally translates to Bowel City. Pfeh. Why would you do that? Why would you name a city after something that lies between your stomach and Uranus? There are many towns with strange names all over the world. Most of them are completely ordinary in the original language and they only sound strange for speakers of a different language. Like for example in France there's a town called Brest, which does nothing for you when you're French but which is slightly funny when you speak English. Which, of course, you don't when you're French. Another famous example is the Austrian village Fucking. I pronounce it the German way, so I don't have to beep it out. That list is long. But some names are strange even in the original language. In England, there's a town called Liverpool. Now, what exactly is that? In Pennsylvania, there's a village called Intercourse. I don't know if I want to know the story behind that. And Darmstadt clearly falls into this category because Darm literally means gut, bowel, intestine, and there's absolutely no second meaning to this word. So how could that happen? Has nobody noticed what they are doing when they named the town? Well, there are about a dozen theories about the origin of the name. I'm just going to tell you five. Here we go. Number one. The first record that we have of Darmstadt is from the 11th century. The name of the town appears in official documents in the form Darmundestadt. So one 19th century historian who was from Darmstadt concluded that there must have been a guy called Darmund or Darimund who founded the city. And since this whole region used to be a forest, which in the Middle Ages belonged to the king, that Darimund must have been a forester and a royal official. Phew, yeah. Could be. Problem is, in the Middle Ages, Darimund was a common name in the north of Germany, but not here. Secondly, even if there was a guy called Darimund, this is no proof that he was a royal official because we have absolutely no written records of a guy of that name. Number two. This theory traces the meaning back to Old High German, the language that people spoke up till the 11th century. In Old High German, dar means a passageway, which, by the way, has the same roots as the English word door. Mund means shelter and stadt means place. So dar mundestad would mean the place near the fortified passageway. Which makes sense when you consider that Darmstadt used to be the outpost of Frankfurt to protect the town against attacks from the south. But, number three. Others said, no, no, that's not Old German, that's Celtic. Dar means oak tree in Celtic. Mund means mountain, so Darmundestad must mean the place near the hill with the oak trees. Tja, possible. They do have hills here, and oak trees really are a thing in Germany. Number four. In the 18th century, historians tried to trace the name back to the Roman Emperor Trajan. The Roman writer Ammianus Marcellinus tells us of a place that must have existed somewhere around here, named after that emperor in Latin, Trajani Monumentum. And Trajani Monumentum, that really sounds like Darmundestadt, right? Haha, we can trace our heritage back to the Roman Empire. And last, and indeed least, number five. According to one 19th century historian, the original name of Darmstadt was Armstadt, whereas Umstadt, which is a village about 18 kilometers east, was called Dummstadt. Problem is, Armstadt means poor city, whereas Dummstadt translates to stupid city. So both towns were quite unhappy with their names. What did they do? They cut off the D from Dummstadt and gave it to Armstadt, so Dummstadt became Umstadt and Armstadt became Darmstadt. 
This theory is not very likely. In fact, it's not more than a joke. And furthermore, it does not explain why poor city should be unacceptable, whereas Bowel City is all right. There are a couple of other theories, none of them is really convincing, but they do have one thing in common. All of these theories were developed by people who lived here, who were teachers, public servants or journalists, and who were interested in the history of their hometown. In German there's a word for these people, Heimatforscher. There's no one-to-one -one translation into English for this word. In one dictionary I found this translation. Heimatforscher, a local, original, usually amateur historian or archaeologist whose interest in the region, especially in Germany, is often primarily sentimental. And here lies the problem. When you want to know where a town got its name from, you should never ask the people who live there and you should, under no circumstances, ask the local newspaper. What they want is a beautiful story, a dark legend or a romantic tale involving a princess and a peasant who fall in love with each other. One drowns in a river, the other gets eaten by a bear, their ghosts haunt the castle and then the bear founds the city and yada 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 yada. You know this kind of thing. Especially in the 18th and 19th century, in the age of romanticism, people came up with explanations that made a good story or with some connection to kings and emperors, but which have absolutely no foundation in the sources. So all we can say is, we don't know, and we never will. Those theories that are based on language and not on stories seem probable, but they contradict each other and we don't know for sure. But do we really have to? What is the benefit of knowing the origin of the name Darmstadt? Nothing happens when we know it. The most important thing is clear. We have the name Darmundestadt in the sources, and this name clearly has nothing to do with the inner organ between your stomach and Uranus. Well, perhaps this question is only important to local or regional, usually amateur, historians or archaeologists whose interest in the region, especially in Germany, is often primarily sentimental. Everybody else can go up here, sit in the sun, have a beer and think, yeah, Darmstadt. That really sounds a bit strange, but you know what? That's fine with me. Thank you very much for listening. This is my new channel. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.